There are only two types of jawless fish in the world, lampreys and hagfish, and lampreys form an order of fish which can be divided into three families. Two of the families are only found on southern continents, southern South America, and Australia and New Zealand. There is one species in the family Geotridae. Uh, it can reach up to two feet in uh, length, and uh, it is one of the parasitic lampreys, where parasitic juveniles return um, uh, to the ocean uh, to prey on uh, fish, and then uh, the adults then return to fresh water to breathe. The family Mordacidae contains three species, two of which are parasitic, and one of which is non-parasitic, spending its entire life in fresh water. The majority of lampreys are the northern uh, lampreys of the family Petromyzontidae. Uh, they live in North America, Europe, and Asia, and the sea lamprey can reach up to four feet in length. Um, some species are not parasitic and spend their entire life in fresh water, while others uh, travel to the ocean uh, and uh, prey on fish there only to return to fresh water uh, to breed. This family has the greatest number of chromosomes known in uh, vertebrates between 164 and 174 chromosomes per nucleus. Here are two sea lampreys in a nest. This is a depression uh, where they mate. Uh, lampreys typically die shortly after mating. So the adult's main function is uh, to breed and lay eggs in a suitable site. Uh, the number of eggs per female vary, with far more eggs in parasitic species, uh, with one to 200,000 eggs possible. Non-parasitic um, species produce far fewer eggs. The eggs hatch to a larval form known as an amacete. Um, these uh, burrow into the sediment of freshwater streams where they feed on bacteria algae, protozoans, and detritus. Um, they can live for years, up to 10 years, um, and this length of time depends on the species and the nutrient levels in the environment. Some, after uh, finishing the amacete uh, larva stage, uh, metamorphosize into adults which do not feed and therefore are not parasitic. They simply then breed and die. And this is a typical life cycle in lampreys which spend their entire life in fresh water. Others, however, travel uh, to the ocean after undergoing metamorphosis where they become parasites on other fish. They latch on with their sucker-like mouth. The keratin of uh, their hooks in uh, the aural region, these are not true teeth, help them to latch on and their uh, rasping tongue helps them to make incisions in their uh, uh, fish prey and they then suck out blood and body fluids. After 12 to 18 months living in this form, uh, these juveniles then uh, change into the adults which will breed. These adults are no longer parasitic. They are simply living off the resources they had previously stored. They swim from the ocean up freshwater rivers to breeding sites uh, where they will breed and die, and the cycles begin again. Thus, lampreys can not all be treated the same. For example, in the state of New York, three lampreys are freshwater for their entire lives and are non-parasitic and tend to be smaller, while three um, travel to the ocean and can uh, be parasitic. While the non-parasitic species and most populations of the parasitic species, for example, the populations of sea lamprey in the Hudson and Delaware, these are native to the state of New York. Uh, and therefore they are not invasive species. The sea lamprey uh, was able to bypass the natural barrier of Niagara Falls 
and once it migrated into the Great Lakes as an invasive species, devastated the native fish stocks there. And so the sea lamprey is native in much of New York, but an invasive species and a serious pest in the Great Lakes.